We are African, and we happen to be in America. We're not American. We are people who formerly were Africans who were kidnapped and brought to America. Our forefathers weren't the pilgrims. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. Farrakhan was very effective. I remember our march on Washington. I was in that. And Farrakhan had a great deal to say that made sense. However, I think that because he does not in any way say that he would not go into violence would be the wrong leadership in the sense that we do not need any more wars. We need more peace tables to sit down and try to bring about a compromise that is very advantageous to each side. We are African and we happen to be in America. We're not American. We are people who formerly were Africans who were kidnapped and brought to America. Our forefathers weren't the pilgrims. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. The rock was landed on us. Malcolm X did a great deal of good. It was uh, a good while before uh, King understood from where he was coming. But when he did, he understood that Malcolm X was in his corner, in the corner of all black people. And I think that the people in this part of the world would do well to listen to Dr. Martin Luther King and give him what he's asking for and give it to him fast before some other banks come along and try to do it another way. At 39 years of age, on Sunday, February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X was assassinated by three men, all members of the Nation of Islam. He died for, for what he believed in. He believed uh, with his whole heart, soul, and mind in the struggle of the Afro-Americans in this country. One week later, thousands would attend Malcolm X's funeral in Harlem. People were stunned by his death. Black America had lost a powerful leader. Born into a life of struggle and uncertainty, Malcolm X lived as a hustler and pimp, then as a fighter for his people, and finally a man of God. But the controversy sparked by his death would ensure that Malcolm X would not easily be forgotten. You know what he was playing with? No, he didn't. He didn't know what he was playing with. You don't jump up against a divine messenger of God like he did. He asked to die. And God applied to it. No, you don't understand. Like someone said, did, did you Muslims kill Malcolm? So the messenger said, and what if we did? He said, what if we did? Have you ever seen a leader scandalized like Malcolm scandalized Muhammad? Have you ever heard of anything like that? Don't you know if you scandalize a man who's loved and honored by the people, what are you asking for? You're asking for death. And he got what he asked for. And those who killed him, they weren't sneaking behind no damn counter. They came in the place where the man was preaching and killed him in front of his own followers. That's fearless men. And those who were there to guard him, they were ducking. They were cowardly dogs, ducking and running on the poles instead of trying to protect the man that you say is your leader. You're damn punk, you don't have no leader. If he's your leader, why the hell would you stand up for him? Now all of 
a sudden they can serve you a dead man on a platter. And you eat him up as your leader. Not knowing nothing about him while he was alive and know less about him now that he's dead. Ah, uh, way I see. Uh, Malcolm uh, is the victim of his own preaching. He preached for us, and so he become the victim of it. Would you say flatly that no black Muslims were involved in the shooting of Malcolm X? I wasn't there, but I don't believe that any of my followers was there. had nothing to do with it at all. God has made me a better man for you than Malcolm X. I'm standing where Malcolm would have stood if he had the character to stand where I'm standing. And frankly, it ain't none of your business. What have you got to say about it? Did you teach Malcolm? Did you make Malcolm? Did you clean up Malcolm? Did you put Malcolm out before the world? Was Malcolm your traitor or was he ours? And if we dealt with him like a nation deals with a traitor, what the hell business is it of yours? You just shut your mouth and stay out of it. But the sad part is that when he tried to preach peace rather than war, he was killed. So there again is an example of the fact that uh, going to war is the worst sort of problem solving that you can enter into.